Okay. Well, um, there was a big poll that was printed today about race relations in America. It says, poll finds optimistic outlook but enduring racial division, uh, which I guess is some good news and some bad. Uh, I think this is good timing because I wanted to talk about um, these reality shows. We were talking about it the other night, uh, Big Brother, which is tanking. But uh, I did see the first couple of ones. And I mentioned this. We had a show about a week ago with people from reality television. And I mentioned the ones I saw, the black people get getting thrown off. That chick got thrown off so the island. you looking at me already? No. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I knew I was going to become the resident blackologist. Yeah. The <laughs> I came up, but that's OK. You know well, what? Let's throw him off the show. You know? Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> Get it down early. Yeah, no one knows how to cook a rat like me, though. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know whether the TV executives are picking black people who seem to have a swagger because they think that's more entertaining, or that is representative of black culture. But look at this clip. This is from Big Brother, and this is... Uh... I'm trying to get, right then, I'm trying to get people to open up. People right. are opening up, but they're reacting to you in a certain way because they think you're a certain kind of brother. That's all. Mm. What do you mean? I mean, I know you got a lot more going on in your head than but... shake your booty. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, I guess... I think that we're all like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that represents Robert. That's, well. that's the right. guy who that's calls the Cuba himself Cuba Gooding guy it. in the thing. Right. Right. Show me the exactly. money. I and never he... met a black guy who didn't have on, have on a basketball shirt either. I mean, my whole life. I mean, <laughs> so I'm gonna go home and get mine. <laughs> well, wait a second. Let me explain this. Seriously, before I think, you it's, mock I think me. it's a casting thing. I think you they, do. They, absolutely. It's I, just no. It is. It yeah, is. It's go, like the go, scary movies. Yeah. You go. You go out there, and they want a certain kind of person to fit the spill. And now after the show, that'll change. If you I look at every know. single horror movie, it's the same thing. They always have one token black guy, and he's always the first one that gets killed off. It's just like I never do horror movies for that very reason. But <laughs> it's just like politics. You do a survey, you do some survey research, some market research, you see what the people want, and that's what Hollywood feeds them. But who decides to throw black people out? Who sits in a room and says, you know what? We well, we got this Chinese guy, keep him here a week. The black guy, throw the black guy out here, Puerto Rican, let's bury him. I mean, who's, the, <laughs> who's this? Who's this mental guy? I mean, who's this man? So, so this guy in Big Brother who calls himself Mega, that's what <laughs> caused the problem, is that he walked into the house oh. and he said, you know, call me Mega. And then, and then I'll was throw a... his ass out. The yeah. guy walks yeah. in the yeah. call, well, guy wants to see my sister. He said, what's, what's your name, brother? Mega. Out. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. Unless see, it's Mega Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> then I'd be, well, have a seat, Mega. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying Chris that... Rock would say, now you look beige. <laughs> yeah, right. Get lighter, man. You get lighter. <laughs> so you think that is not representative. You think that is Hollywood manipulating. You think that is Hollywood picking the Deion Sanders of the black, black population out in order to put them on shows so they can get kicked out. No more than the white folks on Jerry Springer are representative of everyone else. Really. <laughs> I, but you know what, you know what happens? It's like this. I have no problem with being being everything. You know, it's when I, when I first started directing, black folks were sort of playing the best friend or or the comedic guy, and and everybody was making the dominant culture laugh in comedy. Started directing, and I saw Wesley Snipes as Al Pacino, and and Larry Fishburne blew up in Boys in the Hood. And it wasn't until we started directing that we got represented in other ways. And I think it's just you you got to get out there and sort of put people out there differently. And until you do that, it doesn't change. And most of the well, people running it are white guys who've never been with black people. You know, you know what I'm saying? Except in, in work. You know, friends until dark. Matter of fact, how they, come you, know... you got a nicer chair than me, man? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I feel like I'm on Green Mile with this chair. <laughs> you want my chair? <laughs> no. I, I will give you my chair. Uh, and another well, thing is you never see any Jews on these shows. You know why? We don't want to be in these shows. <laughs> <laughs> These shows are stupid, and we're not going to stay on an island eating a rat for any kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think about the other way around? Now, George Bush, who I assume you are backing, because, sure. yeah. Solid. He's going to okay, win. He was before the NAACP on Monday trying to convince them uh, that he gave a rat's ass. Uh, <laughs> And they weren't quite buying it. Why should it work the other way around? Why should we believe? Do you believe George Bush? That he... Hello? Okay. George Bush is the guy that, when he was the majority owner of the Texas Rangers, traded Sammy Sosa. So, no, he doesn't. 
not the smartest guy. <laughs> the guy can't run a baseball team. How's he going to run the country? You got to give Bush credit. <laughs> 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 you, have to, you have to give Bush credit for going to the NAACP meeting. It was the right thing to do. Oh, well, yeah, 20 people it guarding him. It wasn't like he was uh, there alone. <laughs> 40. He didn't do it because it was he, the right, right thing to do. He did it, he did it to for get votes. votes. It's all part votes. of his thing. He did out to Latinos, Hispanics, blacks. It's they the right say thing. what they want to say in front of whoever's in front of you. never hear them make a Jewish speech in front of black people or a black speech in front of Hispanics. <laughs> yeah. They always yeah. tailor it. Yeah. You don't get up there in front of blacks and go, so, what's mocks of what's happening? Yeah. You, know, you, know, you don't do it. <laughs> Well, uh, Jesse Jackson would have a different yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, my, my father, when I was a kid, my father, every four years, used to write his name in for President of the United States. He used to vote for himself because he said that he knew all the politicians, they were crooks, but he didn't know how they were crooks. He knew how he was a crook. So <laughs> if he became president, he knew what to look out for. <laughs> and he actually used to come home when I was a kid and say, I think I have a chance this time, and go upstairs. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I, I think they're all full of it. I, I think it's it, whether you want, you know, whether you want to be with a barracuda or a shark. You know, I think they're all politicians. They're just full of it. Well, that, I, you know, just, I, it's just tough. I, I, well, hate, I hate to surprise. Right. I, I hate to surprise everybody, but Bush has been elected twice statewide for governor. He's now running in this national election. He's had 100 reporters down there investigating him. We're not going to have any new big beauties in the rest of this campaign. I like beauties. I like a guy who stoops a woman here and does a thing there. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I want a beauty. Well, I want a real man. You know. I don't know about know? that because they, they sort of put to bed his past when he sort he, of he put know. it to bed. Well, he, no, he, he didn't well, put it to bed. When he said, when they asked him if he ever if he ever did any drugs, and he said, not for seven years. <laughs> I mean, unless this guy's eight years old, right. we got to find out something here. <laughs> right. There's but only two things that are off limits for him, his personal life and his private life. Yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, I, don't, I, don't, I still don't get why we care so much about that stuff. I don't, I don't I, care I'm about more that. interested in, in what the guy does, and he gets all this big business money, and that concerns me more than, yes. than, than, than what he does in the bedroom. I'm not going to sleep with the dude. Well, he I'm doesn't go in there. What's up? But it's all it's all because yeah. we're we're living in this Clinton era right now where yeah. everything's been turned upside down for the last seven and a half years. Well, I'd rather have a guy that's turned upside down. What do you mean everything's been turned upside down? <laughs> what do you, what, turned upside down? The greatest down. economy in the right, history right, of the world. Right. The man must be punished. <laughs> I agree. Right. I'm, I'm for that. A trillion dollar surplus. Let's yeah. get him for that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, what do you mean turned upside down? He got himself. He got what? himself. He set himself up to get gotten. What do you mean gotten? How has he gotten? Oh, all his and how did he set him? and all the problems he's Listen, had. I'd rather, have a, wait, I'd rather have a president who does it to a woman once in a while than a president who does it to the rest of us the, the whole country. four years. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. There's a sound bite I think we can all live by. <laughs> yeah, a good one. Yeah. But it's a boring, isn't it a boring race? I mean, it's really, it's like watching a turtle and a snail. <laughs> you know, it's so boring. They, they, I mean, I, they're both, they're boring. Yeah. They're just boring and not too bright. Well, you know, <laughs> it's like, would you, if you were going to school now and they were running for class president, would you vote for either one of them? <laughs> no way. 